Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back once again to our Cole Drago campaign on Mountain Blade Battle Lords as we form a mighty Dothraki horde, one that will mount the moon itself. So I was playing a little bit off camera and uh, I got it when I hadn't got attacked by set bandits, which is going to be interesting because they have 15 cavalry, right? So it's going to be kind of difficult, but I think... You know, with our horse archers and with the few, you know, men that we do have, I think we'll be able to take these guys down without too much trouble. So let's go ahead and kick this one off and dive in. I also want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone who dropped likes and comments on the previous video. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's, it's always awesome seeing loads of likes and comments. And if this video right here gets over 500 likes, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do probably episode four as a streaming part and we'll stream for like three, four hours. So it'll be like a really long installment of this campaign in stream format so yeah if you guys want to see that just drop a like down below in on, yeah, in the comments and uh yeah we'll just go from there so we have not a bad like well obviously I'm infantry right. need to quickly form a, a tight shield we'll probably uh we'll take the uh missiles with me as well yeah we'll take all the, the horse archers with me oh they haven't, they haven't shot a bunch of horse archers themselves okay interesting so we've got horse archers over here which we need to be careful not to die of and then they've got a bunch of infantry as well Okay, I don't think our horses are faster, like they are going to be much stronger than us, but maybe we can just like pick off their horses like this. Okay, this is going to be very interesting. I mean, we do also have a lot of archers ourselves. Maybe we can actually just turn around and take these guys out. Or maybe we need to be in the infantry. Actually, I think maybe we need to be back in the infantry vlog and try and help out there. Because they, they don't really have a lot of armor. So we can, yeah, we can definitely take down these step bandits. Not to, uh, yeah, it's just for horse archers, which are going to be a difficult unit to kill. Because, yeah, we've got a lot of decent armored guys as well. It's kind of hard to, as also to tell who's who, so I might actually turn the uh, banners on for these early stages. There you go, 50 damage there. Boys coming in as well, taking down another one of them. Oh, God, don't not mean to have my bow. Let's reverse. This horse doesn't reverse. Yeah, let's actually just do that really quickly. Sorry to break the immersion, but let's also... Uh, is it under performance? Uh, gameplay, of course. Uh, yeah, let's just turn on the show banners. Because, yeah, it does get a little bit confusing sometimes. I do understand. It would be nice, though, honestly, if you could scale down the uh, the banners above people people's heads. That would be kind of nice. And until we fight, like, foreign invaders, I don't think it's really worth us doing it. Also, let's just tell the infantry to charge as well. They're basically all taken care of now. I had that spear miss. Pull out our sword quickly. Oh my god, he is just hammering me. This has not been a good showing for the beginning of this episode. I've kind of just been faffing around. Oh, that's nice. That was close to him taking us down. Okay, we've, we've, take, we've done a lot of damage to them. There's not many of us left, but we still got a lot of our horse archers left as well. Um, I mean, obviously our horse archer technique doesn't really work too well. Okay, this is going to hurt. doesn't really work too well when we're mainly just using... Uh, when we're fighting other cavalry. You know, we can still, like, hit, but we need to we need to kill that guy badly. Oh, my horse is so close to dying. I can't have it taken down. I really need to take care of this guy as well. Uh, let's just tell the cavalry now to also just go on AI control. Let them do their thing. They'll, they'll, they'll skirmish. They'll do their thing. We really need to take out this guy, though, here. We almost did. Nice. There's another guy taken down a little bit. His horse off. I mean, this is always going to be a hard fight, right? Oh, good shot. Good shot. This is always going to be a hard fight against, you know, more mounted horses. But we are we are picking them apart. This should give us some really good loot. But mostly, what this is going to do is this, this is going to give us way, way more horses for us to uh, upgrade our men. Because we need a horse. But whatever we want to do with our, with our army... We need to have a horse to do so. Finally, we managed to clean that out. I probably cut some of that battle off because it was going on for a bit too long. And I will try my best to do that. But overall, not bad. We managed to what, get some experience. Yeah, we got a bunch of experience in all of our skills, which is nice. Pole arm went up massively because we got a ton of kills. We ended up losing two of our men. We lost a uh, Kazai no, uh, Nomad and also a Tribal Warrior. But hey, is what it is. Uh, you guys also, and we also got some prisoners we can maybe end up recruiting as well. So I'll, I'll take them. Uh, we need to get rid of probably this guy right right there. And then we can also upgrade, but we don't have any horses yet. And they don't actually have any horses for us to take either. Wow. I was expecting at least something, uh, which would have been nice. We also do have some more arrows, but again, nothing too special. Is this better? Crack jacket spear. 
I, I does does it tell me if I can coach for Lance or not? Whenever I whenever I find one, I assume it does, right? I assume it would. Oh well, we'll take everything. So we'll go back and sell this stuff because originally I was going over to these towns to recruit some more men before we started the episode, but then we got attacked and obviously we wanted to be able to uh, take them on. Uh, so deliver the herd. I don't think I want to do any of these deliver quests until I've got a bit of a bigger party because, as you can see, obviously. Uh, you know, if we get attacked by a big group of looters, it's something we can really do. But we do need to do some of these quests soon because we can't really recruit anyone with the difficulty we're playing on. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get sneak into here or not. Yeah, we'll be fine. With the difficulty we're playing on, it's kind of hard to do much, you know, to recruit a decent amount of men. But with our 10 recruiting, let's go back to the main town. We will probably sell all our goods at market. Maybe try and pick up a better bow or a, a better skill. Oh, yeah. Also, we did level up quite a lot last episode. Yeah. We've got five whole focus points. We're level five now. Uh, we've got five focus points and a skill point as well. So I think definitely what we want to do is probably... Uh, yeah, definitely we want to level up our pole arm. Uh, one or two. Probably stick another point in bowmanship. Stick another point in riding. Uh, another point in scouting is always nice. Uh, and then we have kind of like another point just laying around. Maybe just boosting up my charm early on is good. You know, not that we're going to be, you know, we're, we're cold Drogo. We're not exactly a, a charmful man. But it could be useful to have the other tribes look up to me in the way uh, that they do. Uh, and then also we have another point right here. An attribute point. What do we want to stick in? Um, I guess, you know, this is not bad. Or endurance or probably just control, right? Again, just really boosting up that bowmanship because as we get further and further, we'll be much better at doing this. And especially when we get mounted archer and we can use like a proper longbow on a horseback. Oh, baby, we'll be doing some serious damage and it'll be a lot easier to shoot. Right, right now, we're not exactly got the best bow in the world, so it is kind of hard. Uh, is there... We want to go trade. We want to sell all the goods that we've gone ahead and picked up. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot of stuff here that we could really use, but we could really do with the money, right? Um, I guess we'll sell all of that as well. Oh, yeah, we also have the, the shield as well I bought, didn't I? And it wouldn't, might not be at all. Lever, lever, oh, yeah, but it looks not very nomadic. I mean, we don't really look like Cold Drogo right now. We also have a couple kind of carrying horses. And, yeah, some of this stuff as well. So we'll keep hold of that. And then we have some equipment as well, which we've stolen. But we'll keep all the food and we can sell the oil as well. So 700 gold, that's not bad. Like, but that, that original quest that gave us 2,000 gold uh, was really nice. Um, so first off, I want to look at the bows. Uh, 3,000 simple short bow. I mean, we can't afford that, but that would be nice. Long bows and stuff we can't wield. I mean, I think we've already got, yeah, we've already got a set bow. Uh, we could get some better arrows, though. Like some barbed arrows. They do a bit more piercing damage. Uh, no, I think we're fine. I think we'll just keep, continue to save our money, continue to spend our money on recruiting. Uh, we also gained a level. I assume we got some trade experience. Oh, yeah, our trade went up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we, we leveled up as well. And we have another focus point. Um, sure, we'll stick a point in trade as well. Why not? We'll stick a point in trade. It's, 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 you know, it's what it is. Uh, do we have any companions? It could be a good idea to pick up a companion this early on. Uh, Miss Longknife. She's a good rogue, but we don't really. That's not what we want. And I, I want to kind of keep... Um, do we sell our prisoners as well? Because chances are they're probably not going to join us, right? Oh, uh, Step Bandit will join us. We'll take him then. Uh, maybe they will. I kind of feel like these guys, the high tier dudes, won't join us. They're just like far, like they're way too good um, for us to really worry about. Okay, cool. So now we want to go find some missions. We want to find some quests that we can do to boost our relations with the surrounding towns. I guess this will kind of be my, uh, my area. We could also go clear out that hideout as well. We only have 18 men though. Um, but we could clear up our hideout. That gives us great relations with everyone around. But there are two quests here. So we have a deliver the herd. And we have a train troop. Let's deliver the herd. Okay, cool. Let's talk to this guy. Let's get some relationship with him. And uh, yeah. So how's it going? I am called Drogo. Nice to meet you. I am Kazam. I live all my life here. Working on the land. As do my kin. A lot of people here. Uh, the commoner farmers and craftsmen like myself. Uh, they like, to, like me to speak for them. Uh, how's it going, my dude? So some of the families in the village need to raise a bit of money. They put together a herd of 10 cows in this place. <laughs> but with all the bantry and the roads, they can't drive it. Uh, they want me to. Sure, I can help. Let me do it. How much? 400 gold? Sure, I will personally do it. 10 cows uh, to gem us with a wool weaver. Okay, cool. Let's do it. So is this is this a quick... Like, <laughs> thank God this isn't the war band quest where we actually have to, like, kind of micromanage the cows, uh, which is very nice. We have to go all the way. Oh my god, that's a long distance. But we have the cows in our inventory, right? 
It's just t it's just ten hertz. Yeah, ten cows. Okay, cool. We can do that. We could also sell them as well. But let's I guess let's head our way out there. We'll recruit some more men on our way. Run across any looters as well. Yeah, we'll take them on. I love how fast we are as well. It's so nice. So we'll like you know we'll pick off these ten dudes here and there. Cause we need we need to level up our dudes. Obviously, we need to level up our infantry. Those monstrous and loathsome things are the enemy. We can expect no quarter should they win. They will, unless completely unthinking, try to use the woods to screen some of their troops. The gods are great, it is true, and they will grant us victory. I have it on the best authority. That is to say, my authority. We cannot lose. On to victory! Indeed. Uh, so, d let me know in the comments down below if you've used this mod before. How do I move around? Because whenever I click start, the speech ends. Um, and maybe I just need to look at the page again, but I swear there's a way to make it so I can, like, move around the battlefield and rally my men whilst all of that is going on. Uh, so do let me know. Oh, yeah, also, here they come as well. We'll try and pick off some of them as well. Because, yeah, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be really cool. We actually probably need to charge at them. Let's get the infantry in, and we'll tell the uh, horse archers to do their thing. Um, yeah, we, I, it would be really cool if I could, like, move around and, like, survey the battlefield whilst giving that speech. We're just trying to help out the boys. Oh, yeah, you guys also are very annoyed at me as well because I had the Imperial soldiers still in my army. But I kind of felt like, you know, until we get a max party size, having just a couple random Imperial soldiers is fine. You know, the Lost Legion. Let's bring this guy down. Get some more bowmanship because, as I said, I really want to level up my bowmanship as quickly as possible. You know, the sooner I can use, like, a longbow on horseback, the better it is going to be. Uh, we can also have a bunch more prisoners now as well. Nice. Also, my party size jumps from, like, 28 to, like, 58. And I know that the Banner Lord Tweak mod allows you to have more men at the beginning, like, quicker. Um, but I had it on last episode, and I haven't changed anything, and I haven't updated anything. So I wonder why it's uh, jumped up by so much. I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, do you want to pick on these guys? Uh, I mean, nah, let's just leave. Six isn't really that many. I mean, it, I guess every little does help. I'm very interested to find out as well who is going to be our first target. Because you guys have been giving me amazing advice in the comments. I've obviously been reading all the comments uh, from uh, from you guys. And you guys have been suggesting that what I do is like, I, I do need to have heavy infantry in my armies for sieges, obviously, at some point. You know, sieges are going to be really important uh, and we're going to need heavy infantry. But for now, we can just kind of survive the campaign with a large amount of uh, of horse archers you know for the early game the first you know like 10 episodes we can just chill and just have like horse archers and maybe a couple infantry here and there but mainly just focus on the uh the horse archers and that can like really just we'll just dominate on the open field um who am i giving this to this the the wooler this guy right from what if my memory serves me correctly I believe it is this guy we need to go ahead and hand off the uh, the, the equipment to. You'll be hearing a lot about me. Um, cool. Uh, as we agreed. Nice. And we gained six relations with him. That's good. That should, that should unlock the next level of recruitment. Awesome. Are there any quests here for us to pick up? Or maybe a tournament. Maybe we'll, we'll rest here. You know, it's, it's been a long journey. We'll rest here. And uh, let's see if there's a tournament here. There is a tournament indeed. Let's, uh, let's dive into it. We'll pick up some Western... I mean, we... Ooh... I mean, it's Imperial armor, right? But that's uh, that's not bad. And we're on horseback. God, they don't know who I am. But I'm a Kazai god. If only they gave me a bow. Oh, baby, it'll be a, it'll be a whole different story. We already took out their horsemen. Let's go after their bowmen now. Hopefully, I can coach this lance in time. Oh no, I, I I messed up there. I messed up again. Oh my god, that was really bad. Oh my god, we got absolutely slaughtered here. Let's at least kill the bowmen. Oh my god, he hit me so it missed. Oh my god, it's a 3v1. Okay, oh my god, we didn't even take him down as well. Yikes, this is going to be hard. But you can obviously coach our lance and uh, try and get some damage in. But that bowman's going to get like three shots. I mean, it's javelins as well. Okay, at least the bowman's down. But oh god, here we go. I need to pick up a shield. There's no shields back here as well. There's no way I can beat this guy. I need to kill this guy. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, that's that then. Yeah, I, I'm not going to do much of a spear. I'm not, I'm not good enough to do 
to like 2v1 with a javelin. I try, I try to like outmaneuver the guy behind me and take advantage of him. Like try to, because he's in heavier armor. I see my athletics and my lighter armor would be enough to kind of outrange him and try and kill the one, one, one guy and then maybe make my way to a shield. Um, but yeah, that's just not going to work. Oh, we got some uh, people who want to join us as well. Nice. Uh, we'll take another step of the set bandits. Uh, we don't have any horses. Yeah, that's what I might do is I might go to a region in the Kazite territory and buy some horses. Because there's probably going to be a ton, right? There's going to be a ton of like these horse regions that sell the horses. So that's probably where I'm going to head next and get just get some like in my inventory so we can upgrade. Because we need a horse. Every time we upgrade a, uh, a nomad or a peasant or whatever we have, uh, we need to have a horse to give him, right? Which is such a cool kind of idea, you know, a cool concept. And I, I, would, I wouldn't mind them taking that further. There's one right here. I wouldn't mind them taking that further and making it so that, you know, you, like you need to, to forage at least for resources. Like maybe, maybe kind of go full, uh, what's the game called? Uh, stronghold style, you know, where you need like to equip weapons and swords and maybe some of your men, like there's like certain armor classes that filter into a certain rank on your, on your, on your troop tree. And that way, not all your men are just uniform, you know? You've got some people in some tier 2 armor, and then the same tier is also some more people in, like, a different tier 2 armor. Like, that'd be really cool. At least I think it would be really cool. I don't know what you guys think. Uh, so let's, let's see. Let's see how much these horses are. So I don't think... I think it's only this... Oh, this is, these are the horses we can use, right? Or are these the carrying ones? No. Yeah, because you can't ride these horses. These are the mule horses. Uh, but that's nice. That's a really cheap, I would say. So we'll take all that. We'll take your grain as well. Uh, sure, let's do it. And now we should be able to upgrade some of our nomads. Uh, yes, awesome. Oh, baby, the horse archer army is coming together. We already have a decent amount of these guys. I love it. We can take another set bandit as well. Nice. Let's let's test out our newly formed horse archer uh, army right here. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're literally just gonna send the horse archers in. There stand the rebellious slave. Yeah, like that. Like as soon as I click start, it gets rid of it. it gets rid of the awesome speeches. Uh, so anyway, let's take these guys. Uh, just follow me. Let's go. Look at us, oh baby. The horde is already beginning. Look at the arrows. I love it. We haven't actually picked anyone off. There we go. We obviously, we definitely want to take more distance. I think, uh, with our horsemanship. Like, you know, just, just getting a little bit more distance. And we just literally circle them. This is Kurahi right here. They do actually have some range, which we can only be a little bit careful of. We're not really getting any damage on them now. <laughs> this is literally going to be the campaign. I mean, obviously, when we fight bigger armies, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. And they're already routing as well. Okay. And we'll just charge in now and uh, cut them down as they try and flee. I mean, that's beautiful. I love it. This campaign is going to be so much fun. Because we're going to be able to do so many more tactics. I need to set my key bindings again. I hate the, uh, the aim punch it does. Luckily, the boys took them down. I need to set up all my key bindings as well again. Because I reinstalled everything on my computer. So I lost all my key bindings for the game. So I'm going to need to set that up again. Oh, nice. We already actually already got some... Uh, some better warriors. I mean, it makes sense, right? We have eight of these guys. Uh, I'm actually going to save the upgrade uh, and let more of these guys rack up because we're not going to be finding anyone difficult, so I'm not going to lose any men. Um, and the way that experience gain you gain experience in this game is that the the more of a unit you have, the faster they level up. So that's what we're going to stick to. Are we going back? Oh, no, it's another horse place. Nice. Let's take some more horses then. Um, we actually have a mission here as well, which I wouldn't mind doing because you can see you can actually get some decent Kuzite warriors. I What are the noble troops like for the Kuzites? Is it these guys? No, it's not these guys. These guys are just normal ones. Yeah, that's something we have to definitely look up as well. Um, so let's see what he wants us to do. Deliver the herd. Uh, we can do this. We can do another delivery request. They're, they're pretty easy and they pay well. Also, I have no idea where we are. So uh, where do you want me to take it? To, uh, yeah, sure. Um, I'll do it. I will do it, my dude. Oh, it's night time as well. I actually haven't been really too... Oh, yeah, someone also... Let's do that now as well. Someone asked me as well to walk around the Kuzite Towns because they've never seen it before. So I can do that. Uh, let's also see. So we have to go back to... Cool, we are trading heavily. I mean, it makes... That's actually kind of... It makes a lot of sense. We can go look at this town. Uh, it makes a lot of sense, right? We're trading heavily with the... Uh, with the Western or North? Southern? The Southern Empire? You know, they're kind of our bordering ones. We, we are nomadic kind of 
settled nomadic people. So it makes sense that we are actually, uh, you know, trading a lot with them. And we're giving them our cattle and our other, you know, other resources and stuff. Oh, another mission here. Artisans. I can't, I don't like doing the artisan one. Even though it would be really nice to get some good, uh, you know, kind of recruitment from this town. Uh, I'm just not going to risk it. Also, I'm on the silent. Oh, he's a good tactics dude, but we have no use for that right now. Uh, so let's just walk around the city tent quickly. Obviously, we want to also try and get our workshops up and running as quickly as possible. Start getting that passive income. So it's kind of good. I imagine like a lot of these inhabitants aren't like you obviously got all the nomadic stuff outside the settlement, uh, which is very cool. I imagine a lot of these castles won't be very nomadic. Like I, I imagine probably law wise because I just didn't build these castles. They probably just inhabited them uh, more than anything else. But, you know, they're pretty nice. They're kind of like a mix between, you know, like an Eastern and an Imperial settlement, I would say. You know, it's kind of definitely got that Eastern feel. Um, but, like, a lot more of, like, the Imperial, like, layout. Like, these, these castle walls look quite Imperial. There is, uh, you know, some of the, the thick boy guards. Markets. Everyone else just, you know, queuing up to take pictures with me. When I mean, you've kind of got the awesome kind of, like... Uh, I guess capital uh, keep right there. We're queuing up to, to make out as gang leaders. Okay. And this person's just uh, taking some poor mushrooms or something and having a, a whale of a time. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what the cities do look like. Okay, they're quite cool. You know, they kind of got their own, their own aesthetic to them. But still staying uh, kind of law friendly. So again, let's, let's head our way down south. Again, if this is like, this might not be the most enjoyable thing in the world, but I think it gets the job done. Uh, we could also do multiple of these as well. You know, there's no reason for us not to deliver multiple cattle around. So let's just grab a bunch of these. You know, they might be on the way. Oh, no, okay, we can't. That's interesting. So we can't actually take two quests of the same uh, manner, which is kind of cool. Also, uh, let's just, just take a quick walk around as well. Whilst we're here, we might as well show this as well. Like, look how awesome. I love the villages for the Gazites. Yeah, it's like proper, you know, nomadic lifestyle. I mean, not no, not so much nomadic anymore, but... It still kind of, you know, retains that, that aesthetic. You know, lots of open space, horses everywhere, loads of grazing. Because, like, a lot of the imperial towns and the more western towns, they have more of that kind of, like, you know, farming feel to it rather than, you know, like, herding. And look how many horses are here and stuff, you know. It's, it's just really cool. It's definitely a nice change of pace, I think, for sure. Uh, let's just make our way over. It's kind of sad that we can't have a, a similar quest uh, line. Honestly, oh, did we level up again? I think we did. Uh, nice, our riding went up. So your quiver has more arrows or more javelins. Obviously, we'll go arrows. Three more arrows on horseback. Hell yes. I and mean, then our next one is party size or accuracy improvements. Definitely grab the accuracy improvements for sure. I want to be shooting straight on horseback. And obviously, we want to apply as well. A few more level ups as well. Yeah, we wanted to keep them, right? And the looters want to join us. We need to actually probably get rid of the looters at some point. What you got? Train troops. Training troops is fine, but I mean, I guess if we could do a lot more of them, because I don't know why I don't take them. Oh, 16 looters as well. Oh, 18 looters. Hello. Come to Papa. And we're so fast as well. We get 10% movement range speed on horseback, which we're always going to be on horseback. Let's, uh, let's leave Those the horses think to victory. There must be a way to keep on moving. Because I know you can, but like it just gets rid of it. And it's so annoying, but I want to know the button. I just look it up, honestly. Martin Lance Archers, just do your you do your thing. We'll see the infantry like here. Why not? I mean, I'll take the uh, the cavalry, and they'll just follow me. So you guys will be my my personal guard. The horse archers will just kind of do their own thing. Okay, I was gonna go in for like a nice little strike there, but I guess not. We've actually managed to pick off a bunch of them onto me. Yeah, until we get a better bowmanship, it's going to be a little bit shaky. Be careful, boys, not to get uh, brought down as well. Just going for like a nice little strike. Just try and thin the herd out a little bit. It's not bad. Our horse did take a uh, smashing there, but all good. Oh, we've got a big clump of men here. Obviously, the faster we go as well, the, uh, the worse my accuracy is going to be. Let's get our infantry across the river now as well. Just so that they can maybe pick up a few of them, thin out the herd. Not that kill right there. Let's 
And we are also using the realistic horse damage as well. Not realistic, but better horse damage. So our horse, you know, horse charges should be a lot more effective. Oh my god, they just turned immediately. Save me, boys. They just turned immediately onto hitting me. Oh, that horse is, is the impact is brutal. Is that everyone? No, still a couple more left. And we, we can get rid of the Imperial soldiers now. Uh, but we've, we've kind of built up a, a party size of 30 or whatever. We can do that. Uh, so we'll just grab some more horse archers. Uh, Imperial soldiers, you served me well. Uh, but it's time for you to go. Yeah, you, you guys are free. Oh, I just forgot to take the looters, my bad. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Uh, so that's a good experience for the boys. And we'll just continue on with our mission. Uh, as we are almost here as well now. Just deliver the herd again. Better relations, a little bit of money as well. 400 gold is nothing to, to shun at whatsoever. Uh, do you guys remember? It's probably the brewer. I have to go and give these uh, the stuff to. Uh, no, not you. It should probably just look and see who we have to actually give the uh, the cattle over to. Uh, deliver the cattle. We can do that. Uh, to Nemos the Finger. Okay, cool. Someone did make a... Oh, he's right here. Uh, someone did uh, make a pretty cool uh, idea of like making like a little finger campaign uh, where you kind of just boost your charm up a ton and uh, kind of go from there. Why did I lose horses? I said I lost them. Oh, look, also, look at our charm. Charm's up to 18 already. Nice. Um, yeah, like having like a, just a really a character focused heavily on, you know, just being kind of manipulative and uh, making people like your tongue. But unfortunately, there's just not enough mechanics really to do that quite yet. Hopefully in the future, when you do have like more internal politics within a kingdom, you can do that. Uh, and I'm sure, you know, at some point you will. Uh, sure, let's just do this train, uh, train troops one. Because basically what we have to do is just level up some men. I can do that. Yeah, we'll get a bunch of a uh, bunch of infantry, you know, extra men. We just level them up. It seems pretty easy to me. And what we want to make sure we do. Um, also, we've also got 47 men already. Yeah, our economy is going to be hurting. Yeah, no wonder we're not really making money. We're doing all these quests, but we're not making money. Uh, being a mercenary for uh, because like, this would probably be our be our first bet, I would say. Like making sure that we are a mercenary and uh, doing. I mean, obviously, right now we're just doing a lot of quests uh, to Razir. Where is Razir? Can we see where that is first? It sounds like it's more, yeah, right there. I mean, we could do another delivery quest. I mean, sure, very easy. We get some good relations. People like us. Um, yeah, I can do this. And if we run into any other, like, it's not that far away. It's like four cities away. So we might as well do it. And that'll probably be the last delivery quest I do for a little while. And it's always fun to go into, go into like, a different biome as well. You know, go properly into the desert. We're kind of into the, the plane. Ooh, 18 looters. Uh, so what units did he give me to level up? He gave me... Because I caravan guard is sick as well. Uh, some barrow... Some borrowed troops. Okay, cool. So we'll stick them into just my range category. And I'll, I'll just basically send them in to fight. Along with my missiles to get some experience. So we'll actually dive in. We'll man you control this one. may think of victory. But we should make them think kindly of their master's whips. They are dead men walking they will try to stop us crossing the river we must if we are to win by this time tomorrow our sword arms will ache from overuse <laughs> it really needs the men cheering as well that's that's the one thing this mod is, is missing right there is the men cheering uh let's get all our horse archers we'll just stick them like here and they can just pepper the enemy as they come in and then we'll send the borrowed troops in as well Oh, some shots. Let's have a go a little bit heavier. Yeah, way heavier. Okay, cool. All archers should just start filing into them now. We still also are still yet to hit a shot as well. Okay, the uh, the borrowed troops can charge now because probably by the time they reach them, there won't be too many of them left. Some of them are already routing. Obviously, it's always going to be the slaughter. These are just looters. Not like these are step bandits or anything. And hopefully we're getting some good experience on our boys. 
on the Borrowed Troops. The sooner maybe we level them all up, the, uh, the better it's going to be. We've already leveled two of them up. So as, as I said, what we're going to do is we are going to let all 10 of them just level up to the veteran Borrowed Troops. Because the way the experience works is uh, the more units you have, the more of them are getting experience for this bar to fill up. This is a shared bar between the entire unit. So if I upgrade them, it's basically two less Borrowed Troops that will be gaining the experience. Uh, so ideally, I, I do want to go and, and keep them all in one tier until I, I decide to level them up, basically. Uh, so let's keep on going. Uh, we probably will just beeline it. Unless there's another tournament. We can try and do another tournament whilst we're here. Uh, I am trying to make sure that we have like a nice mix of like missions, battles, and, and other stuff. But these early games are going to be kind of, you know, a little slower um, than than what we'd maybe like. Nimus for Finger. Oh, yeah. The stolen goods. Have a tournament here? No, no tournament. Okay, that's the first time. We can sell our goods here, though, whilst we're there. We don't really have the biggest... Um, the biggest, you know, like, whole... I mean, we already actually have 1,100. That's not bad. Anything of, like, immense value, which would be better for me? No. No, 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 no. Yeah. So we'll just sell all of that stuff. Any goods for us to sell? No. Also, we have 12 sheep. I don't really know where we got these 12 sheep from. Did I give him the horses instead of the sheep, maybe? Uh, do you actually have any cheap horses as well? Um... Sure, I might actually buy like a bunch. Yeah, I'll buy like 15 of these horses. I think I may be sold in my horses instead of the sheep in that quest. I mean, I guess it serves me right for not reading the, the mission properly, but. Yeah, I think what I want to do. Oh, yeah, look at that. The Southern Empire already looting Asari territory. Goddamn animals. I mean, we are going to be a looter as well. Generally, I have like my Volandian campaign, and basically all my streaming campaigns have been kind of like good and not like looting. Oh, hello. Uh, definitely going to try and complete this quest whilst we're here. Uh, or at least get as many of these done. I haven't actually uh, I haven't actually read... I can't remember what the, the Asari did in the battle. Um, so let's actually read this. So I asked him about the, the, the grand battle. The bravest and most valiant sons of our clan, Nimir, led off a large group of Asari warriors to fight for the Empire. For God and glory, I went with them. When we saw the Batanian archers come down from the hill, Nimir was ready. He gave the word. We held our shields over our head as the arrows rained down, then threw our javelins and charged. We cut them down. Then the Melanian knights came. We were attacked on two sides, and the emperor, who could have sent men to save us, took his time. Perhaps he wanted the best of the Asari to die, lest, uh, lest we be become too powerful later. But that betrayal was nothing compared to what we received from our fellow Asari. Oh, they got betrayed? Namir returned in well-deserved glory. A daughter of the uh, Bene Kuile took an interest in him. They had a secret affair, as the youth some sometimes do, as heroes do. But Namir acts wounded the Quidir pride. They kidnapped him, slew him, and hung him in a cage in their market. We will forgive the Empire and the Valandians, but the Quilids... Better not ask me that. So who are they? Uh, who are? Is that just a clan in the in the Asari uh, land, or is that like? Uh, I assume it's him, Uniquid. Then Kulit. Is it this clan that they they won't forgive, or is it someone else? We can't look at Kingdom, unfortunately. Or is it like someone in our clan, maybe? No. Yeah, it must just be like an internal clan that they're, you know, they're not going to forgive. They got like betrayed and, uh, oh, we also keep on going this way. Almost forgot. Oh, another one as well. Boom. Just like that, we gain uh, two. Tell me about the battle, please. There was brave warriors in the years of, this, uh, he was brave but arrogant, of course. The young people loved him. He wanted to lead men to fight the empire. Oh, so like, it's probably his clan, right? But the leading clan didn't like it, but he wanted to fight. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, that's boom, just like that. We've got three done, three or four done from the main quest, which is kind of nice. Also, uh, seven Kazites, sure, we'll level them all up. The Horse Archers fam is getting on there, boys. Tier three Horse Archers. The next one is like a big upgrade, and then that one. But we're going to have to be careful. Yeah, we are losing a decent amount of money now, so obviously we're going to want to uh, maybe try to pick up a mercenary contract at some time soon. Also, look at that as well. Our scouting is coming a bit clutch as well. We're starting to see this, which is nice. Uh, who was it we needed to talk to to deliver? Um, we actually only have two days left as well. 12 herds of sheep to uh, Good Strand. Good Strand, Good Strand, Good Strand. This guy right here, perfect. Let's give him a little talking to. Let's hand over the sheep. 
How's it going, my dude? Look at this, like a it's like a goose there. Nice. We'll give him over. Make friends. We make friends with both of them or just the guy we did the quest for? I think that's just the guy we did the quest for, which kind of seems a little bit weird. It'd be kind of nice if we could do both. So, let's see. I haven't looked up a guide. I haven't I haven't looked up a guide yet on how to uh, how do you trade properly, but let's see if we can work it out. So apparently you only get a trading experience if you sell stuff you've bought from another town. And it does tell you like where you can sell stuff better, you know? Like this is I can sell at Dennis Disca for 105 and buy them here for a decent amount of yeah, I can buy them here for a much cheaper. So let's just buy 20 linen. That's a lot of our money, but we should be able to make most of our money back. Obviously, the price will deteriorate the more we sell. So maybe actually we only buy 10. You know, we're kind of early on in the campaign. We need all the money. We're losing, you know, 104 gold every single turn. Um, so we need to go to Danistiga, which I think is back on the way. We also buy some pottery, but that seems kind of expensive for pottery. 100. Maybe it's not, but I just need to kind of learn the prices. I know that, that is probably an okay price for jewelry, but still a little bit expensive. And leather, that's really expensive for leather. Um, so yeah, let's pick up 10 linen and we'll just kind of you know, go from there. Kind of just go from there. We could also uh, maybe buy some hardwood or some salt and sell that for a small profit. Flax could also... I just need to also kind of memorize where we're, where we're going, good trade routes we can go to. Let's just buy 10 linen. So we need to go to this place. Yes, yeah, so I was actually back on our way. So let's buy all the linen actually, screw it. It was like on our way. We don't have to go out of our way. There's no reason not to buy the rest of the linen. Unless if the price has just jumped up, which it hasn't. So yeah, let's just buy all that linen. It's 20 linen that we just bought, and we'll sell it over in uh yeah in the place I mean, in this place. I mean we're going back there anyway, right? And we should be able to make like a decent amount of cash on all of it. So we can hopefully just go from there. Um, and I think what we'll do as well is what we'll do is we will uh, check out who's at war with one another as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see you know what side we want to join and uh, who we want to become an alliance with, and become a mercenary for as we level up our our skill, and that's when we'll really put the uh, power of our, our army to the test. So, let's see. So, the linen is only selling for 58 here. I, is this not the place that I was supposed to come to? I mean, we bought it, like, the highest we bought the linen for was 70. I could have sworn it was this place. I mean, that's another place I am mistaking it for. It must be. I must be uh, mistaking it for something else. I'm trying to look for any of the other settlements over the beginning with a D, because that's what I remember. Oh, there's a nice little uh, separatism going on over there. I mean, honestly, that's the, that's the only place I can see beginning with a D that was remotely. Unless it was like this place, Diffamar. But I don't really want to go all the way up to Diffamar to sell that. So maybe the price has changed. Maybe the price has changed, or maybe I'm just an idiot and I, I misread it. Uh, well, maybe, maybe it actually also includes maybe these small towns as well. But I can't imagine. I imagine it would only tell you the prices of the towns, or maybe my tips were just bad. Maybe my tips were just, uh, you know, not very useful. Uh, so back in the desert now, we don't really need to recruit any more men. We can't really afford to recruit any more men. Um, but we will keep an eye on. I, I know how much I sold the linen for, so that's what we'll go for. Also, our scouting leveled up. So faster moving during the day or really fast during the night. I don't see why you'd ever not take the night movement. I mean, actually, it's been, like... Yeah, I guess it's not. Yeah, I guess we'll take the day. I was gonna say because you know you just get faster speed, and uh, I guess I guess but because it doesn't get dark, like it's not like a twelve-hour cycle, right? It's like you know sixteen hours light, you know eight hours dark or whatever. All nineteen liters. Let's clear out these guys. The, you know, the extra percent is so minimal that it doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, we'll still bring these guys down. <laughs> sure, let the horse archers do their thing. Rebellious slaves may think of. <laughs> I also I, I need to find out it annoys me because I just want to jump in, but I also want to just be able to move whilst I'm uh doing doing the, the stuff I need to do. Uh, let's just get the horse archers do their thing. I'm uh, just close the distance on them. Let the horse archers. We'll we'll ride with the horse archers. We can leave these set bandits back. And we'll let the borrowed troops get stuck in as well. I should probably do need to help them out just a tad. Just take some of the aggro so the borrowed troops don't all die. And then the rest of the boys come in. Horse archers are just roaming around, picking off soldiers. I love it, man. I actually love it so much. 
Like, I can't wait until we get a much better bow as well, where we're doing, like, you know, 60 damage or, you know, basically one-shotting people if we get, like, a headshot. That'd be a really nice addition. Don't mind me. No, 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 hit me, no. Just straight up slicing my horse. But you'll pay. Oh, we get a level as well. We're leveling really fast in these early stages. But, I mean, that's what they did do in the recent patches. They made it so you do level a lot faster in these early stages, which is, I think, a much, yeah, it's, it's much better. Before, a lot of these skills are so out of reach that you just never get to them. Uh, we just need to level up. I mean, we can level up. Yeah, sure, we can level up these guys now. Veteran, which basically makes them a little bit tankier. It means they can survive. And we only got a handful more left to go. We're already up to, uh, we're already up to a nice amount of horse archers. Oh, we can also pick up some of the, uh, the other guys as well, which we'll do. Oh, uh, yeah, we can recruit some of the other bandits as well. Nice. We can actually get a raider. Hell yeah. And the other set bandits as well. So what do the set bandits level up into? Just into Kazites? Nice. I'll take that. I will take that. That'll be a good addition to my army. So I'm just basically going to be traveling around trying to sell this linen. Offload this linen. No, awful price. It says we can sell it here for uh, Dennis. Yeah, this is the place. Yeah, I guess the price just changed. I guess my tip wasn't always accurate. But that's fine. We can, we're in no rush to make this money. So uh, we'll just hang out for now, you know. Also, I didn't want to see if we're at war with anyone. Or the Kuzites are at war. The war with the Northern Empire. Okay. That's generally who they do fight. Uh, the Southern Empire, I think we know are at war with the Asari. Yeah. Um, have the Western Empire. A war with Britannia. I assume uh, these guys are at war with Sturgia. No, they're at war with the, uh, the Asari as well. So does that mean Sturgia aren't at war with anyone besides their little separatism movement? Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, let's head over here. Um, again, we want to see if we can set, we can offload this linen. <laughs> no, God damn it. I've been, I've been run. I've been swindled. We can sell this crap though, which we don't need. And make a little bit of cash back. Obviously, keep all our horses. Uh, we might need to buy some more grain at some point as well. So, uh, I mean, like most of our lords will be up here in the north. Oh, it doesn't matter. Maybe we've already pushed across, which wouldn't be bad. I mean, my army is still nowhere near good enough. Um, so maybe trying to find like a hideout or two to deal with would be good. Just trying to clear out a hideout with my army. Or maybe trying to complete some of these more quests, like more of these quests. Because what I want to see is I want to see the noble tree. But I need to find some noble troops first to do so. You guys have any quests for me? No, no quests here. Okay. Yeah, maybe trying to find a hideout or two. I know I did discover a hideout in the north somewhere. So maybe we will all head up there. And as I said, finding like the noble tree, I want to see what it's like. Deliver the herd. We've already done a lot of the delivery quests, even if they are good. We have done a handful. I wouldn't mind like some bandit killing quests. Train troops, we're already doing that. Southern Empire and the Asari made peace. Interesting. Oh, there's a hideout here. A fairly big hideout as well. Let's do it. Because these hideouts are really good. Because when you clear out a hideout, it gives a relations with everyone around you. Which is actually really nice. Also, we actually have a, a decent amount of bowmen this time. Uh, I mean, we'll just tell everyone just to follow me for now. And we'll just try and pick them off. Because there's going to be quite a, there's gonna be a handful of them. You know, there's going to be a lot. Luckily, though, we do outnumber them. With our, with our boys. We have some archers this time. We have some, you know, okay men. And also our bowmanship is having 93 damage already. Not bad. Oh. Let's tell the boys to charge now. We've closed the distance. And we'll just try and pick up some of these archer dudes up here. Some of the more elite bowmen. Go first person as well. Oh my god, our arrows are missing so poorly. There we go, 30 damage. That guy should almost be dead. Yeah, our long-range archery is not the best in the world. Definitely could be better, but with the amount of men, I wish we got similar amounts of men. I mean, we were 50 in as well. <laughs> Maybe I need to turn down how many men you can bring into the, the, the hideout. Because the hideouts aren't designed to have this many men. So I guess it makes sense, like, to tone it down. But I, I also feel like you should be able to bring in a lot more of your men into the hideouts. But may, maybe they just need to, like, maybe in the future they'll make hideouts a bit more interesting. So that, like, you know, maybe you do have, like, you're fighting outside, like, a small barricade. Rather than all these troops split up. Can we snipe this guy through the fire and the flames? Yeah, okay, 
awesome. That was actually an amazing shot. Like, it'd be really cool if, like, instead of just, like, fighting these camps, maybe you're fighting, like, a normal pitch battle, but just, like, at the gates of a of a bandit hideout or something like that, you know? Like, it's like a really small, like, Roman fortification-style settlement. And, but, like, you don't really need any siege equipment or anything like that. But that'd be, I think that'd be really cool. Get rid of this guy. Is there anyone up here we can take care of? Oh, there is. I'm already taken care of, folks. Can we not get up these stairs? Are we stuck? That's everyone right now. It's just the leader. I'm not going to fight the leader 1v1 on my weapon. Like, there's no way I'm going to take this guy down. So I'm just going to let my boys mob him. Like, there's just no way our, our armor even breaks these guys. It's not very honorable. But get him, boys. Get him. <laughs> we get a nice, like, look at that. We stabbed him in the back and we got 17 damage on him. Like, a, a slash in the back and we got 17 damage. There's no way I 1v1 him ever. Uh, some good renowns, though. Uh, a bunch more prisoners as well. I'll take all of that. A bunch more Kazite nobles. <laughs> Hell yeah. Look how many horse archers we have. Okay, we're ready to become a mercenary now. Took us a little while, but we're ready for sure. Um, is this horse better as well? It has less armor, but sure. Let's uh, change our horse over as well. All right, cool. That should give us, as I said, give us two relations with everyone around. So basically this castle, this castle, all the minor ones as well. Uh, we didn't actually get any relations with this person. But maybe they disliked us. I mean, either way, we got we got a bit of you know friendship with them, so I will take that. Um, and I wanted to go to here and, and trade off the, the crap I just got. Um, and maybe what we'll do is also we'll sell some of our other equipment. I mean, we're, we're making some good money, but like a lot of this uh, this armor is you know way more expensive than than what we need. Oh, some shoulder pads maybe. Yeah, I mean again, it doesn't really suit us for now, but it's two hundred gold for it. Some easy. Easy shoulder pads here. Yeah, definitely these ones. And we're still getting a bit of money. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's what we wear. Yeah, how much worse is it? It's not even that much worse. Is there anything else? Oh, that better should be better. Yeah, that, that looks cool as well. We don't really pay that much either. So if we do that, there you go. We're starting to look a lot more nomadic, a lot more uh, like a horse archer. And now really all we need now is like a, a helmet. Like a, a proper nomadic helmet, and we'd probably be good. We don't really can't afford any of this, and I don't really want to spend money on just like, a fur hood. Is there a tournament going on? Because no, no tournament, unfortunately. It'd be nice if there was a tournament, because we could maybe have picked up some nice Eastern armor from there. Uh, do we have any more quests? Just is we just have a borrowed troop quest? And sure, we'll get a Kazai Raider as well. I need to get back the sort mod. Oh yeah, all these step bandits want to join us as well. Oh, yeah, let's sell, let's sell some of our prisoners as well. Start boosting up our roguery because it's gonna be pretty useful for us, right? It's gonna be pretty useful to have an okay rogue if we're gonna be looting a lot of stuff. Um, so we want to sell them manually, I believe, because I don't want to get rid of all my guys. So let's choose who we're gonna get rid of. Uh, so I want to try and keep the top two because they did seem like they did falter to me. What do these guys? Do they just go into Khan's guard? So is, is this my special unit? Is this like, is this my noble? This must be my noble tree, right? Or is this like a special bandit tree? Let me know in the comments. Because that would be interesting. We'll keep him then. Uh, I always get rid of these set bandits. Plenty of set bandits we can pick up. And I want the money. And it also boosts up our rogery. Gives us a little more cash. It's not bad. 1,800 gold. I'll take it. So I think now, what we want to do is we want to head probably like north. And then and join up as a mercenary. And I think, honestly, this campaign is going really well. We've already done... Um, Already done three of the nobles, which is good. We'll hopefully meet the other ones in combat soon enough. We, I don't think we've spoken to a single Kuzite noble either yet. The horse archers are really starting to do their thing. I need to sell this linen, though. That's our, that's our main goal right now, is to find a good price of this freaking linen. Uh, but we'll, we'll keep hold of it for now. I was mugged. I was swindled. Uh, but yeah, for now, we're going to go off. We're going to try and find some of the Kuzites, uh lords and then maybe just pledge my allegiance to them. And we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Also, let's help out these guys to get a bunch of relations. Let's just quickly do this. Oh, look how cool we look as well. And we much cooler when we have a proper Yet face mask. For all oh, we don't need to listen to our speech. Uh, yeah, let's just charge everyone. Oh, it's actually uh, not bad. Uh, not bad units as well. These are actually pretty good. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay, good, thank God. Everyone should just be moving in. I mean, as soon as, as, soon as we pin them down, there's only six of them, right? They don't really have anywhere to go. This guy here just getting hammered by all my archers. 
Yeah, I'm really looking forward to like fighting like a proper battle when we actually have like, you know, fighting a full like legionary army. I really want to try and get a shot off. No, fire troops are going to do it. Like, I think it's going to be so, so funny when we actually fight like a proper imperial army and we just turn up with all our horse archers. I mean, we're actually starting to look pretty cool now as well. Look at all that arrows going in. None of them are good enough to hit him. But as soon as, like, you know, we are using the basic tier. Oh, we hit him there. Nice. He's actually a horse archer as well. Oh, welcome to my, my crew if I take you prisoner, my dude. Let's bring him down with his horse or anything. Okay, let's take his horse again. Hit me in the chest. Get out of my way. Okay, he must be... Yeah, he's one hit now. We hit him twice. Can we hit, like, a full moving horse? Oh, what a shot. That was a sick shot right there. It's so nice. We get a bunch of relations. So it's always, like, it's been one of the most important things to do is to always help out your boys whenever you see anyone being attacked. Nice. So just one more borrowed troop up and we completed that quest as well. Yeah, we are steaming ahead. I like this. Got some decent armor now. Like, well, there's the king. We need to talk to him. So we'll do this next episode. Next episode, we'll talk to the king. We'll get more of the folly. Look at all these relations we're getting as well. It's insane. Uh, we'll talk to the king. Uh, we will pledge ourselves as a mercenary towards him and we'll go fighting. We'll fight in some big battles. Hopefully maybe a siege or two could be kind of fun uh, and we'll go from there. Maybe we're probably not sieges. I probably want to avoid sieges. The way my army is set up, you know, with all our horse archers, probably want to avoid it as best as we can. I also will get the sort mod as well so we can sort out our army. I, I, that's one of my favorite mod in the entire game, which is sorts everything out into their, their rightful units and stuff. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys in, are enjoying this campaign. As I said, 500 likes and we'll do a kind of mega stream three hours of this campaign or four hour, three to four hours of this campaign, maybe even longer depending on the viewership. Uh, so if you want to see that, drop a like down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.